Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. I have another 12x12 12 12 layout for you. Today I'm scrapping some photos I took of my kids playing in the bath as uh, they were getting ready for bed and what I did was I bought this cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict and I believe the file is called So Much Love. These are some of the papers that I picked to work with and I must admit I spent a considerable amount of time going through all my papers and then finally deciding on only three pieces of paper. These papers are not from any particular collection, they're just random papers from my stash and I just love the way that they look together. Someone asked what I use to print my photos. I actually print my photos here at home and I use a Canon selfie. So that is why you see that I sometimes have to tear off the perforated edges. This layout is going to be a bit different to my usual style. It's going to be a bit more simple and a bit more clean. So this is the paper that I chose. It's from Simple Stories and I believe it's from the Kappa Diama collection and it's called First Bump. And I absolutely love those polka dots. I thought that they were nice and cheery and just playful and that's what this layout's all about. My kids playing together in the bathtub. The other thing that excited me about using this paper is that it dates back to 2016 so yes I've got another piece of paper out of my stash. I decided on this gorgeous blue background and the paper is from Kazercraft and it's from the Deep Sea collection and the actual paper is called Deep Blue. I've been hoarding my Kazercraft branding strips because I absolutely love the sayings that they usually have them and I have used them on previous layouts. This layout was a bit of a surprise for me. I didn't really pre-plan it, but it looks nothing like the one that I had in my head. And then I decided that I was going to use some washi tape and I found this one in my stash. I absolutely love those pink and blue flowers and I wanted to introduce some pink into the layout. So the washi tape helped me to do that because I'm going to eventually, you'll see me, I'm going to start backing my cut file. I love how that washi tape just adds some interest to the page. Wanted to introduce some pink to the layout so I got out my folder that's full of pink scrap pieces of paper. So I wanted to introduce a bit of pink into my layout so I got out my folder that's full of pink scrap pieces of paper and in the end I decided on this pale pink and I'm going to back my X's or should I say my kisses. So for anyone that doesn't know how to back a cut file, all you do is you, well, I, the method I like to use is to just trace around the, the cut file. And in this case, I'm just doing one letter, one letter at a time. So this is the X. And then I just fussy cut it with some scissors. And I, there's different ways of doing it. I prefer to flip it around and then add my glue to the actual cut file and then just uh, glue it down onto the, the piece of paper that I've just cut down. So I'm not going to make you watch all of it. I only showed you one X and then what I did was I got my stash and I took my folders and I went and watched some TV while I backed the rest of this cut file. So the kisses or the X's are going to be the gorgeous pale pink and then the love hearts are going to be a Pink colour as well, just a couple of shades darker and all the hugs or the O's are going to be a beautiful yellow colour and I introduced that yellow colour because of the yellow polka dots. This layout came together very quickly. The only thing that took me the longest was A, choosing my paper, which I must admit took me about an hour and back in the cut file but you know what back in the cut file I just watched TV while I was doing it so it was nice and relaxing so now I'm just playing with some ephemera because I want to use up more of my ephemera I have spent a considerable amount of time co color coordinating all my ephemera and putting it all into these little boxes and hopefully this will work and help me to actually use it all up so in this case, I originally thought I was going to go with shades of purple, but yes, yeah, so I don't end up using any of the purple ephemera. And then I also went with some green and that I pull out and I absolutely love that. And that's when I decided, yes, you know what? I'm not going to go with purple. It's all going to be 
different shades of green. It was time for the title and the title of this layer is going to be Bath Time Buddies. So I wanted to use these gorgeous stickers because they were the right colour. They were sort of like a limey green but um, I didn't have enough of the letters that I needed. It was that damn E. I only had one E and I think I needed two E's. So put that aside and I got out these stickers. And the ephemera didn't really have a lot of stick on it and it fell off. So I'm just adding some glue and sticking it back on and hopefully it never falls off again and time to work on the title. So these stickers I bought from Aldi and I must admit they're not the best quality. They stick onto themselves and they were a bit difficult to work with but you know what, they did the trick. They were the right size but the wrong colour. But as I mentioned in my previous video, it doesn't really matter if something's the wrong colour, you just alter, alter it to make it suit. Now originally I was going to use some Inca Gold that I had in a sort of lime green colour and then it dawned on me I had this beautiful glitter. So that is why you saw me um, using a paintbrush to add some glue to the, to the letters and then I just sprinkled the gorgeous glitter that I've had in my stash for years and it looks absolutely stunning. And then I remembered I had to add the centerpieces to my O's to finish off my hugs and kisses so I quickly glued all those down and basically this layout is almost complete. I just stick down my title and because I didn't really trust the bad quality Aldi pickers I'm just going to glue it all down with some Nouveau glue that I have in my stash and yeah it all came together very quickly and then I decided I saw this in my little stash there it's from Pink Fresh and it's called BU and the oh the little saying says oh what's it say what's it say a beautiful moment and I saw that and I thought you know what it's the right color and it is a beautiful moment and the little circle says this is real life because I am documenting just the everyday real life occurrences. I wanted to add some journaling so I got out my delusions. I don't know if that's a journaling stamp set or what. It's a bit old but I absolutely love it. So I just stamped it using some, some grey ink, added my journaling and we're almost on the home stretch. I think that 2020 is the year that I grow this channel of mine or I give up. So please, if you have been watching me and you like what you see, I would love it if you would subscribe to my little channel and help it grow and also hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload. I'm going to be trying to upload every week and here there will be some close-ups coming up. So if you want to see some, some close-ups of this gorgeous layout, please do. And if not, I'll see you around. Till next time, stay safe everyone and... Bye for now.